From meteorologist Robert Spedden, let's talk about this La Nina watch, which has just been issued by the Climate Prediction Center of the United States. And uh, what that simply means is that we're likely going to be going into a La Nina over the next six months. First graphic I'm showing you here is the sea surface temperature anomaly from climate.gov showing those below average sea surface temperatures out in the eastern Pacific, often a result of an increase in trade winds from east to west, which often builds up those warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the western Pacific. So we're already kind of in a La Nina state. We're starting to get back to neutral, but it does look like things are going to be dipping back down closer to the La Nina as we go ahead in the fall through winter. So back to back La Nina's, by the way, are not terribly uncommon. I know last winter we had one resulted in a few storms actually popping up in the Western Pacific during the winter months and La Nina's yeah, back to back, they're not that quite uncommon. They often take place in about five to six year period when they switch from La Nina to El Nino. A watch means there is one likely in the next six months while warmer sea surface temperatures, of course, with a La Nina does increase the threat of tropical activity. At the very least, it increases the threat of increased rainfall across southeastern Asia. The Climate Prediction Center with those numerical guidance as you go through October, November into December does show a high chance of a La Nina probability. You can see right there with those blue bars peaking up well over 50%. But the key thing I think is the trend. We already had that La Nina. If you just trend it out heading to next uh, winter compared to, you know, all the other um, years past when we had La Nina, uh, there's no guesswork here. Likely we are going to be going up to near neutral and dropping back down closer to a La Nina state through this autumn heading into the upcoming winter. So that's just a quick look at uh, that forecast from the Climate Prediction Center overviewing it. If you want to help me out on Patreon, go ahead and check that out. Put a link down below in it. Also, if you want to know more about the El Nino and La Nina, I'll put a link down below as well, or you can check it out here. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Patreon and follow me on these social media platforms. Right now, though, La Nina does not affect those day-to-day -day weather forecasts, just as far as the extended forecast in those increase in probability with tropical systems with those warmer sea surface temperatures. For those day-to-day -day weather forecasts, be sure to check your local agencies and watch out for our daily updates here on Westpac Weather as well.